Hey yo, chicks here. As usual, we are going to show you guys how to get number one, and this time it's going to be in the Grandmaster Final Boss. So if you don't want to miss any content and you're not subscribed yet, or if you're new on this channel, we are actually really close to hit 10k. So yeah, it would be really awesome if you're going to subscribe, especially if this video or if this channel is any help for you. Currently, we have a score of 7156, which is actually a big gap between the second and also the third place. And we are going to show you guys two different runs. The first run we are going to show you guys is actually a rank 4 run. And afterwards, we are going to show you guys the 7, the insane 7k score. This is going to be the first run on the right side. You can see the oath we use. And yeah, so in the first turn, we are going to use the pumpkin bomb so that they actually gain um, buffs and then we can activate the rupture effect on the left side you can see we are getting 80 points each which is really insane so in a run in a perfect run we want to have as many rupture as we can and yeah in the second run we are going to try to basically uh talk about the run in general to see because i'm pretty sure we missed a lot of points so in general we can see how much we could have been able to score so here as you can see we're going to rank up we're going to um, get the ult of Gotha. So in turn 2, no matter what, we need to get the Gotha ult because else they are getting the ult or at least most of the times one of those two are getting the ult. So your run is dead and the pumpkin bomb doesn't help because they cleanse that. So um, the reason is also for every ult you are using, you can basically gain up to 10 dissolves and every dissolves gives you 30 points, which means it's up to 300 points just for the dissolve points, which is really, really huge. So basically, in a perfect run or in a run like this, for example, you would quit out if you do or if you go for rank 1. Because, yeah, uh, you're going to dissolve only 9 times. But hey, um, that was only still my tries where I got used to it. Like, for example, here we are missing points because we didn't use um, a rupture card or because more likely because we didn't have a rupture card in our hands. Now coming to turn 4 and in turn 4 also is a fixed thing. You want to kill the Dreyfus. And the way you can kill Dreyfus is, for example, with a golden rupture or a golden single target. Um, rupture is a bit risky because you need to crit as you don't kill or you most likely kill yourself because the reflect is insane. So we're going to rank up and we're going to use the single target into Dreyfus. So here, for example, if we would have had a golden rupture, that would have given us more points. But like I said, we would need the crit and getting a golden rupture is not that easy. So in turn 5, it's also a fixed thing. We want to move to transition in turn 5 because then afterwards we have 3 turns in phase 2 to actually fulfill the oath of 8 turns. So here we are checking the HP and we are merging the AM cards. The reason is a 2 star AM card actually does 150k damage mark and it's equal to 2 times 100. So a 1 star obviously does around 100k. So it's equal to the point wise. But yeah, so 2 times 1 star gives less points than being a 2 star. In the second phase, like mentioned already, we have 3 turns left. So we are moving to transition in turn 5, so we are in turn 6 right now. So we need all 3 ults until turn 8. So basically, here we are super lucky, we got a lot of merges already, or we have a lot of um, ult gauges already. So what we're going to do is obviously we attack again so that they do get buffs, and then we can burn the rupture cards to gain bonus points, which is really, really huge. Now we are coming to turn 7 and here we got some insane merges but unfortunately only one rupture card. So in turn 7 it's going to be our last turn where we need to get all 3 ults. So in turn 8 we want to have all 3 ults to use them there and here basically because we got all those merges into Gotha it's very unfortunate that we didn't get more rupture cards. So I personally think maybe it would have been even better if I would have ranked up the rupture card because if the rupture card actually does um the damage marks on both sides it would have given us probably more score than those 60 points from dissolve i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah so now basically as you can see we get all ults um everyone or at least even the dreyfus is getting five ult gauges that way we can maximize the dissolves and yeah so the reflect damage basically is in this case pretty helpful because I mean more or less helpful so we are going to ult we get the damage of the reflect first and then we're going to heal with our life steal effect so also um, as you guys can see a bit earlier we are in turn 8 so we do fulfill the authors and 
also the right side so Dreyfus has to get critted and die from the ult of Ludociel. So if he doesn't die he decreases the damage the incoming damage of disadvantage um, attributes and yeah your run would be dead but here as you can see we actually got a pretty decent run which is 6810. So we're going to just scroll a bit so you can see um, the points we got but I'm pretty sure you are more interested in the next run. This is going to be our next run, which is actually the insane score. So here, as you can see, we got the start where we can actually double Rupture. And yeah, so let's just see what cards um, we are getting and stuff. Um, this is the first time I'm rewatching it, so uh, don't mind mistakes. I'm also going to like mainly, I want to see what's going to happen where I maybe did something wrong. Basically, I'm trying to backseat myself to see, okay, maybe um, if we would have drawn this, maybe if we would have done this, it would have been better. So here we got a lot of um, rank ups, which is pretty cool, but maybe also not cool. But yeah, here instead of, for example, um, the pumpkin bomb, it would have been much, much better if we would have gotten a rupture card. Because here, for example, we lost... Um, so instead of 160, we got... Uh, 60 points so it would have been 100 points where we are already guiding so I will keep in mind 100 points so here we are getting a AOE which is or a rupture which is not bad so we definitely have to ult we are in turn 3 so we are going to ult we are going to use the rupture so another rupture would have given us um, instead of the being the golden card even more points as well but those points I will not um, add to us so I will still keep at 100 because yeah the rank up is still helpful in this case but here for example damn we it's actually not even that great of a run to to be honest to be fair with here but yeah we're going to rank up first and we are going to use the rupture and we're going to use a single target so if we would have gotten like for example a golden rupture here for example again that would have been a better run but still actually i changed my mind um the cards we have is totally fine so like for example we did need the rank up we did need the golden single target so like mentioned we are still at 100 points we are missing so here for example also damn this is pretty decent the only sad part is that we have to burn one pumpkin bomb and yeah still it is okay and i still remember this one it's still just 150k because we have the gotha golden buff so this run is actually a pretty nice golden run because we were so lucky with the golden buff and we got a 700k crit with the golden, which is pretty nice. And yeah, now they are gone anyways. We do have the pumpkin bomb and this is actually a pretty risky play. If we don't draw another Gotha card, we can't get the ult and we're going to use the Ludo Rupture. So also something I forgot to mention earlier, we want to keep the Rupture card off our AM if possible, because yeah, um, I think you guys know if you did that a bit already, He's going to exhort and stuff so am is getting targeted and if am is not life stealing a bit it's kinda yikes so here as well um we got some decent card draw we actually got that mercher into gotha but we are missing a rupture again so if we are going to use a rupture so here we're going to rank up if we would have had for example two more ruptures it would have been a much much better score so because we are going to use one rank up this is one rupture we are missing so there i will count so it's 260 points um because we are using the single target here i was like thinking hmm, do we use it onto him or into the demon hendrickson and then i checked his hp i checked his skills i saw he's regenerating depending on his cards so i was like okay we're just going to attack into him we will deal the 150k anyways at least that's what i thought so I do regret this decision. So I think if I would have attacked into um, the Dreyfus, we would have guaranteed to deal 150k, which would have given us a lot of points. But yeah, here, as you can see, it's very close. Um, we got a bad damage roll, I think. But yeah, it is what it is. So in total, we lost like around 330 by that. So with the oath, it's like 400 points or more than 400 points we lost. So it is what it is, but I think the maximum is around 7,500 or who knows, maybe even more because our Ludociel, he does not have UR gear in the bottom and he does have lifesteal rolls. So yeah, as you can see, it's turn eight. We're just going to finish with the ult 
and luckily we also crit with Ludo because just imagine we wouldn't have critted. The run will be most likely over. The thing is, we got the 700k damage earlier on already so if we would have been still able to kill not dealing 400k because of the exhort that would have been fine too but yeah um luckily everything went fine and we got an insane score of 7156 and here as usual just stop if you do need to want to see something uh, specific and now we are going to show you guys the gear as well because yeah i think most of you guys are interested in seeing the gear as well or what is optimal Coming to the gear. So first of all, we're going to show you guys Gotha. So what you need here is a HP Lifesteal Gotha. So it's very important to have the bottom UR as usual. Top pieces are totally fine like that. And yeah, um, if like, for example, depending on how much attack you need to decrease and stuff, you can also just remove weapons or whatever. If you do have like, for example, the middle pieces as defense. So just switch that out into um, Lifesteal and then you are good to go. So this is going to be our Ludo Shell. As you can see, bottom pieces are not even UR. Which means if we would have UR bottom pieces, we would even get a higher score. Because yeah, you always get points through depending on your HP you have. Those are going to be the top pieces. And yeah, this is just Merlin's gear. And this is something most of the people did not know. And I wasn't aware of that either. So um, what we want is basically we want to have lifesteal on the orb. Because that way... We can actually lifesteal and our Ludo Shell has much more sustain. So as you can see, the rolls are really, really bad. So I would advise you guys, for example, maybe having like um, removing those two rolls into HP and maxing out three rolls. That may increase your score a bit. Or in general, probably a attack and lifesteal set would be the optimal set onto Ludo. But who would have that, especially in UR? So our AM is going to have attack crit damage. So that's basically pretty important to also hit the damage marks. And he's going to be our last damage dealer. So we want to ult with him in the very last turn as a very last card. So um, ult levels in this final boss does matter a lot. That's it guys. That's it for the video. This is how you can get to number one in this final boss. Now it's your turn to beat the score and I really hope it was helpful or you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, comment, like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss any future content, make sure to also check out our Discord channel and our Twitch as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and peace out for now.